Good afternoon. I'm Myron Floyd, Dean of the College of Natural Resources. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the College of Natural Resources commencement ceremony. Today, we are honored to recognize the achievements of our spring and summer 2021 graduates. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and students, congratulations. We applaud the dedication and effort it took for you to get here today. I know your final year at NC State did not go as you had hoped. I wish that you had gotten to finish out your academic career on a campus as lively and active as your previous years at NC State. All of us in the College of Natural Resources miss seeing you in the classrooms and labs and hallways. And we miss seeing you today to give you the kind of in-person ceremony and celebration you truly deserve. There's no time when we as faculty, staff, and administrators are more proud than when we see our students cross the stage into the next phase of their lives. But don't let the circumstance of your graduation diminish the significance of today. Each of you has accomplished so much. And now, one of your many accomplishments includes earning a degree from NC State University. I have been impressed and inspired by you and all that you have continued to accomplish in the face of adversity. I hope that you take enormous pride in your accomplishments and savor the extraordinary success you have achieved. I am confident that you have all gained the skills and experience to go on to do great things. The world needs you now more than ever. On behalf of both the graduates and the university, I would like to acknowledge and thank the many people who have helped make this day a reality. To the parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, partners, children, and friends of the graduates, thank you. Without your support and guidance and sacrifice, these students would not be here. I know that your support has been more critical than ever as we adjusted and readjusted time and time again to keep moving toward the finish line. Graduates, it may be some time before you realize the sacrifices made for your success. But as you navigate the later stages of your life, you will come to see that both the successes and sacrifices are truly a community effort. I would also like to acknowledge all of our leadership, faculty and staff. Each of you plays a key role in setting the direction of our college and ensuring our students are both challenged and supported. You all serve our community as educators, facilitators, friends, advisors, and advocates. While often behind the scenes, you all create the family that our students grow to rely on during their time here. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge one special faculty member in particular. Dr. Laura Pacifica is the recipient of the 2020-2021 Outstanding Teacher Award. Laura is a faculty member in the Department of Forestry and Environmental Resources. As a recipient of the Outstanding Teacher Award, Laura will be a member of the Academy of Outstanding Teachers for as long as she remains on the NC State faculty. Congratulations, Laura. It is now my pleasure to have our leadership honor and recognize our graduates.
we have cum laude for grade point averages of 3.25 through 3.499. Traditionally, graduates wear a white sash. Congratulations to all of these high achieving students. Next, we have magna cum laude for grade point averages of 3.5 through 3.749. Traditionally, graduates wear a silver sash. Congratulations to all of these high achieving students. Finally, we have summa cum laude for grade point averages of 3.75 and above. Traditionally, graduates wear a gold sash. Congratulations to all of these high achieving students. Next, we will celebrate graduates who played a sport for NC State while earning their degree. Traditionally, these graduates also wear a white sash at graduation. Congratulations to all of these hardworking student athletes. We would like to recognize our graduates who are serving or have served in the US military or are veterans or are part of a military family. Congratulations to these dedicated students and all those who are serving or have served our country. Students in the College of Natural Resources are chosen for a variety of university scholars and honors programs during their time at NC State. In recognition of those accomplishments, we would like to celebrate students who have participated in the university honors, university scholars, Goodnight Scholars, and Franklin Scholars programs. Congratulations to the hardworking students who have completed these programs. The College of Natural Resources student ambassadors volunteer their time while at NC State and serve the college in a variety of ways. We would like to thank these students for their dedication. Congratulations to all of these passionate student ambassadors for their service. At graduation time, those with advanced degrees don a hood, where the length represents the degree level. A doctoral hood is the longest. In addition, the outermost band of the color of the hood represents the type of degree, and the inside colors of the hood represent the university where the degree was earned. Those who earn a doctor of philosophy from NC State, like the graduate on the left in the photo, wear a long hood where the inside is red and white and the outer lining is blue. A doctorate degree is the highest level of academic degree in most fields. The doctoral programs in the College of Natural Resources award a Doctor of Philosophy degree, or PhD. In addition to advanced coursework, PhD students complete a dissertation project, which means that they design, carried out, and publicly defended a research study to create knowledge in their discipline. We traditionally acknowledge the significant achievement of our doctoral students during our graduation ceremony with a doctoral hooding, where the student's faculty advisor places the earned doctoral hood on the PhD graduate. In lieu of that process today, in a few moments, we will recognize each new PhD graduate with a slide designed by them to celebrate their dissertation work. Congratulations again to all of the graduates. Each department head will now introduce themselves and present their graduates. Hi, I'm Ross Mintemeyer, Director of the Center for Geospatial Analytics. It's an exciting point in time for students of GIS and geospatial analytics. Over the past decade, the college has created two cutting edge degree programs focused on preparing the next generation of interdisciplinary data scientists and GIS professionals. The Masters of GIS and Technology, which currently serves over 100 students, and the brand new PhD in Geospatial Analytics, now 35 students and growing. The successes of these interdisciplinary programs have relied on innovative partnerships between our departments in the college and a consortium of geospatial faculty across the whole university. I'd like to thank the department heads and all the talented faculty and staff who have come together to make this happen. The following student has earned their Doctor of Philosophy degree in Geospatial Analytics. Megan Michelle Coffer, advised by Dr. Helena Mitashima. Congratulations on your achievement. 
the following students have earned a Master of Geospatial Information Science and Technology. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. Let's applaud all those who earn degrees from the Center for Geospatial Analytics. Everyone is welcome to join our center ceremony and reception starting at 3.45 p.m. today. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Way to go, graduates. Congratulations and best wishes. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you. Thanks for <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Marco Acoverda, and I'm the Department Head of Forest Biomaterials. The Department of Forest Biomaterials is home to one of the oldest and most respected paper science and engineering programs in the world, and a new cutting edge program in sustainable materials and technology. We are a global leader in innovative forest biomaterials research and education of tomorrow's industry leaders. We not only deliver a modern and impactful curriculum to our students, we create sustainable solutions to address the materials and energy resources issues facing our societies globally. Since our foundation in 1929, we've been known for research and educational excellence, biomass utilization, and sustainable biomaterials and are truly serving our industries and their needs. I'm extremely proud to congratulate our students today as they graduate. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelors of Science in Sustainable Materials and Technology and in Paper Science and Engineering. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. Let's applaud all those who earn degrees from the Department of Forest Biomaterials. I look forward to seeing you all at our departmental ceremony and reception. Congratulations! Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2021. We'll miss you all. Best of luck for your future. Great job, you did it. Good luck with the next steps of your life. Congratulations, everybody. Enjoy. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, great job. We are so happy you're graduating and finally leaving us. Congratulations, class of 2021. To the class of 2021, congratulations on this amazing accomplishment of graduating from NC State. Greetings, everyone. I am the interim head of the Department of Forestry and Environmental Resources, and I have the great privilege of announcing our graduates today. These graduates are the future stewards of our natural resources and of our environment. And whether their focus is on wildlife or water quality, they have learned how to manage sustainably to meet the needs and goals of both present and future generations. The following students have earned their Doctor of Philosophy degrees in Forestry and Environmental Resources. Elise Tuba Kaya, advised by Dr. Bob Apt. The following students have earned their degrees in the Masters of Science in Forestry, Natural Resources, or Fisheries, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, or in the Masters in Environmental Assessment, Natural Resources, or fisheries, wildlife, and conservation biology. Congratulations to each and every one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelors of Science in Environmental Sciences. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelors of Science in Fisheries, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelors of Science in Forest Management, Environmental Technology and Management, or Natural Resources. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. Let's applaud all of those who earn degrees from the Department of Forestry and Environmental Resources. Please join us for one of our departmental ceremonies and receptions 
starting at 3.45 this afternoon. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michael Cantors, and I'm the interim department head for Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Management. The best communities in America provide easy access to many activities, parks, and tourist sites that help people connect with nature and each other. In our department, we prepare students to be the next generation of leaders who will find sustainable solutions that make our communities stronger. Winston Churchill once said that we shape our dwellings and afterwards our dwellings shape us. Well, I think this really describes what we do in parks, recreation, and tourism management. As professionals, we help shape the community and create a space that allows people to flourish and grow. We're also promoters of health and wellness. We create and promote places and programs that improve physical, mental, and emotional health through active living. We're protectors of the environment. We not only help preserve and conserve, conserve green spaces, but we help build lasting connections between people and nature. And we're defenders of social equity. We form the places in the world that welcome everyone, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexuality, or background. And that encourages people to set aside their differences and participate together. We have a number of programs in our department and a number of those graduates are here today. Uh, at the undergraduate level, we have a, a very large sport management program. We also have students graduating from our parks, recreation and tourism management degree and our professional golf management degree. We also have uh, two master's degrees that are represented here today, both a uh, master of science degree in parks, recreation, tourism management and our online professional master's degree in parks, recreation, tourism, and sport management. And then we finally, we also have some PhD graduates here today. The following students have earned their Doctor of Philosophy degrees in parks, recreation, and tourism management. Sarah Brune, advisors Dr. Whitney Nolenberg and Dr. Carla Barbieri. Ladon Garami, advisor Dr. Aaron Hip. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Masters of Parks, Recreation and Tourism Management, Parks, Recreation, Tourism and Sport Management, or Natural Resources, Outdoor Recreation Technical Option. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelor of Science in Parks, Recreation and Tourism Management, Sport Management, Professional Golf Management. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. The following students have earned their degrees in the Bachelor of Science in Sport Management. Congratulations to each one of you on your achievement. Let's applaud all those who earned degrees from the Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism Management. I look forward to seeing you at the department ceremony and reception starting at 345 today. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, best wishes, and we hope to see you soon. Congratulations, everybody. You've made it through. You're resilient. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. We will miss you. Good luck. Yeah, we're really proud of you. Keep in touch. All the best to you all. Congratulations, and have a wonderful summer. Congratulations, graduates. Great job and look forward to watching your career soar. Congratulations, everybody. We're so proud of you. You made it. Congratulations, everybody. Great job. The world is yours. Go get it. Congratulations, graduates. We're so happy for you. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. You've earned it. Congratulations, graduate. You did it. Congratulations, everybody. Great job. Congratulations, everybody. Have a good life. Stay in touch. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, best wishes to your future. Congratulations, everyone. Great job. Folks, you made it. You rock. I wish you the best in your future. Once again, on behalf of all the faculty and staff in the College of Natural Resources, congratulations. It is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the NC State alumni family. The College of Natural Resources is a tight-knit group. We value the close connections we share. 
Please know that while your relationship with the college will now take a new form, we are still here for you as mentors and friends, and we hope you will stay in touch. The relationship between student and teacher is not simply professional, but profoundly personal. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your journey. The energy, enthusiasm, and vision that you bring to the college during your time here refreshes and inspires each of us. Your growth helps us grow. I wish you the very best as you pursue your dreams and continue to follow your passion. Go out, do well, be well, give back, and show the world what Wolfpack Pride can accomplish. I would like to close today by sharing some words from a few of our graduating students. I hope that all of you will let the many memories you have made during your time here outshine the memories, the trials you have faced. Hey everyone, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the graduating students of the College of Natural Resources and a huge thank you to the faculty and staff of CNR. None of us would be where we are today without you. Awesome, go Wolfpack. My favorite professor is Suzanne Marias. It's because of her and through taking her classes that really gave me inspiration to pursue a career in outdoor leadership and education. She's a professor that truly cares about each one of her students and has become a role model to me. Hi guys, it's Catherine. Huge congratulations to the rest of my fisheries and wildlife graduates and to the faculty and staff. Thank you so much for getting us where we are today. Go back. Hey everyone, my name is Virginia Blake and for the past four years I've studied sport management and business here at NC State and I wanted to send a big congratulations to the CNR graduating class of 2021 and to also thank all of our professors, advisors, faculty, staff, mentors, coaches, family, and friends for helping us get to this point. We did it. Go back. Hi everyone. In all the doom and gloom of the world today, I find comfort in knowing that I'm graduating with some of the most inspiring talented people that I've ever met. Congratulations to all of us. Congrats to Ms. Listenberg on her retirement. My favorite part about being at NC State was getting to be a part of the Goodnight Scholars program. Congrats to everyone graduating and go Pack. Congratulations, we did it. I will be continuing my education here in the PhD program. For those who are going to pursue careers, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. Go Pack. Hi all, my name is Madison and my favorite NC State class was Dendrology. This course really introduced me into the large field of natural resources, and I'm still excitedly learning about trees. Thanks, CNR. Hi, I'm Aaron Durham, a graduating senior in environmental science. Best memory at State, everything dealing with the Doris Duke Conservation Scholars Program. Big shout out to Dr. Leggett and Aaron Voigt for everything they do. I'm super thankful. Continue to think and do. Go State. For me, the best part of my time here at NC State was the amazing grad student community in CNR and especially in PRTM. Congrats, everyone. Congratulations to the students of the College of Natural Resources on completing your degree, and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. We'd also like to thank the faculty and staff who made our academic journey a success. Go Pack!